All right. Very funny lady, Miss Suzanne Capra. Come on, Suzanne. Woo. Thank you. Oh, my God. My classmates are so funny. I just can't get over it. They're just marvelous. I went to class with all of them. Anyway, um, <laughs> what's funny about that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, on my way over here, you know, I notice, I always notice, everybody in the street looks so sad and depressed and anxious. And I said, oh my God, this makes me so happy. <laughs> because at last, I know that I belong. This is where I belong. I can relate to all these people. Oh, and God forbid there should be somebody who's laughing out in the street. I mean, that's a real insult to all of us. You got to maintain the energy of New York. You know, I mean, it's okay to laugh here, of course. But not out there. You just don't do it. Anyway, I was bored one day, so I went on the dating app. I figured, let me see how many men I can find who are totally disgusting that I would never want to even look at in person. And then I got really, oh God, I can't take this anymore. Let me go to the animal app. You know, the Center for Animal Control. So I, I was looking and looking and I found him. I found the most beautiful cat you would ever want to see. Oh my God, I looked at those eyes. I said, I'm in heaven. I think he's an angel. So I said, I gotta have him, I gotta have this cat. So I get there and they say, oh, well, you know, he's 10 years old. So what? We all gotta be seniors someday. <laughs> oh, and then, oh, he's got a slight heart murmur. I said, I don't care. I want this cat. So I get him and I take him to the vet and he really doesn't have a heart murmur, he's okay. And I bring him to the dentist. You know, they have a dentist there. He gets his teeth cleaned. He gets groomed. And I take him home, and I'm so happy. And he hates me. <laughs> he absolutely hates me. He likes my dogs. And they're all going under the bed together, having some kind of a conference. And I can't crawl under there. It's horrible. I feel so alone. I mean, here I have two dogs and a cat and they want nothing to do with me. Anyway, I had to move to a new apartment because I had a mice outbreak. Damn you, Walt Disney. I mean, to glorify the mouse. That mouse must be a billionaire by now and I'm stuck with all these effing little mice running around. So I come home every day and I say to my dogs, donde esta los ratos? Usted los veo? I have to talk to them in Spanish because they're chihuahuas. <laughs> and then I start screaming. I start saying, my apartment is not a bordello for mice. And I know they're having sex here. I can hear them. And I'm the only one that's allowed to have sex in my apartment. M-I-C-K-E-Y-E-I-E-E. -E -E -E. <laughs> Anyway, the longest relationship I've ever had has been with my computer. <laughs> and it's still ongoing. But the next longest relationship has been with my dentist. And I'd love to get out of that one. Anyway, so I'm sitting in his chair and I'm filing my nails, trying to keep away the anxiety. He comes in, what are you doing? I said, huh? I said, just be glad I'm not filing my toenails. I am sure that dentists are reincarnated Nazi war criminals. See all their tools? And then he's always saying to me, I wonder if I should give you gas. I have had a lot of strange relationships, let me tell you. I had a big crush, I was nuts, years ago with this guy who wore a toupee and I really liked him and I wanted to have sex with him. You know, he wouldn't have sex with me because he didn't like my thighs. Well, I said, I'm sorry that my thighs are not as nice as your wife's. <laughs> Do 
But I got back at him. I had sex with his adult son. <laughs> it's been fun, I'll tell you. So anyway, uh, then there was this guy that I was living with kind of on and off. He was actually mostly in my apartment. And he comes over to me one day and he says, I'm going back to my old girlfriend. I went, oh yeah? So I took all his clothes and I threw them out the window. <laughs> Woo, that was fun. And then another guy who was actually jealous of my cats, he wanted me to call him darling, sweetheart, honey, baby. So I looked at him and I said, when did you become a cat? <laughs> anyway, life has been really interesting with all these guys and, and everything that I've been doing, but I think I finally found some men that I could really like. <laughs> yeah, they're mannequins in this department store. <laughs> and so I said to myself, you know, I'm gonna try to get a job in that store because then I could be in charge of all the male mannequins. <laughs> I think I'm a female chauvinist. But that's okay, why not, right? Why not? So I said, I wonder if I should tell my shrink about this. But then I thought, you know, I really don't think I can trust him because he goes out trick-or-treating during Halloween. I said, no, it's not gonna work out. He'll think I'm nuts. And I think he's nuts. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Yeah.